is a short video on how to replace a time-only battery movement. Be certain to select the correct movement for your clock. Battery movements vary by the threaded shaft length, overall shaft length, standard torque for normal size clock hands, high torque for long hands, and whether your clock uses a press-on minute hand or a minute hand with a nut on the end of a threaded hand shaft. Some battery movements also have a pendulum function. If the clock has a second hand, carefully remove it by pulling straight away from the hand shaft. If the movement has a hand nut, remove it. This can usually be done without a tool. Remove the minute hand. Remove the hour hand. If there is a sleeve nut, carefully remove it without damaging the dial. If the movement doesn't come loose, it may be held in place with double-sided tape between the movement and back of the dial. Press down on the hand shaft and pull on the movement to remove the movement from the dial. You can also try turning the movement to separate it from the tape. When installing a high torque movement, we recommend that it be installed upside down. This is necessary based on the internal gear arrangement inside the movement. For all other movements, they can be installed in the proper orientation. Install the new movement and attach the sleeve nut if so equipped. Tighten the sleeve nut hand tight and no more than one eighth of an additional turn. Temporarily attach the minute hand and hand nut as applicable and use the hand set knob on the back of the movement to rotate the hand to the 12 o'clock position. Remove the minute hand. Attach the hour hand at the 12 o'clock position. Be sure the hand does not run against the dial. Never manually rotate the hour hand while it is attached to the hand shaft. Attach the minute hand at the 12 o'clock position. Be sure the minute hand and hour hands do not cross or touch. Attach the hand nut finger tight. If your clock has a second hand, add it now. Install a new alkaline battery following the plus and minus polarity marks and set the time using the handset knob on the back of the movement. And that's all there is to replacing a time-only battery movement. If you need more information, please visit us online at howardmiller.com.